Morning guys, welcome to another video. I just wanted to do a little closer review of the damage to the tire and wheel and show you the jack and show you the little bit how it bent and discuss that a little bit. Um, hopefully that'll just kind of clarify things for you if you saw the other two videos about the uh, jack and the car falling down. Thanks for watching guys as always. So here's just a closer look at the, what I actually hit. There's that big rock right there and just barely hit the sidewall on the side of the tire. So that was what uh, was my demise that day. And here's a look at when the jack fell. Boom, as you can see, it came backwards. Rested on the brake caliper. Here it is in slow motion in all its glory. I think, still can't figure it out. Like I said, everything was flat and the car was in gear. So my bad somehow. Here's just a quick look at the tire again. I, I guess I got another little divot right there to the right, but for the most part, it's that uh, side on the left getting it picked up today for repair. If you've watched the video about uh, my flat tire <laughs> when I hit that rock uh, off-road, um, I just want to be clear. I know in the video I, I said that the jack um, bent and then the car fell over. I didn't want to. I don't want to make it sound like the jack is what caused the problem because I honestly don't know that for sure. But I will tell you that the car was on level ground. There wasn't a whole lot of sand, or there was no sand, and the car was in gear. So. Um, as soon as I pulled that tire, as you see from the video, the jack, did, I want to say it did this number because the car kind of came back this way and then rested on the, on the, uh, disc. Um, scared the crap out of me, I will say. Um, so I did notice, and obviously you can see the base on these things is ridiculous. It's pretty narrow and small. Uh, I need to get a real jack if I'm going to be going off road for sure. But, um. So you can see this bar right here. See how it's it's bent now? And to get it to close, I actually had to put pressure against my chest when I was out there to get it to, to go back. So um, it's definitely bent. It wasn't that way when I started, I don't believe. I'm pretty sure Subaru doesn't sell jacks with better bent. So um, again, not saying it's the jack, but uh, as someone else mentioned, you know, get a proper jack and um, for when you're out there. And it, but um, it, it, I definitely think the flat was a fluke of me just, you know, having to hit a rock at speed um, that was pretty dang secure in the ground and it just flattened the sidewall and, uh, you know, damaged the rim as you saw and flattened the tires. Anyway, I, I appreciate all you guys' uh, wishes of well-being and the suggestions for wheels and tires. I'm excited about it, so I really like the look of the 502s that everyone's been talking about. Um, the big thing I'm kind of wondering, though, if you guys can can uh, give me a heads up, is you know what's the difference in in, in how loud they are, and uh, does it affect your gas mileage much? The thing right now is I love this car because it is absolutely so quiet on the road, and I know from past experience with you know off-road tires that it is very loud, so. I don't mind a little bit of loudness, but I just don't want it to get crazy like it was in my Jeep. Anyway, that's all I got for the for the jack. Hopefully that'll kind of maybe clarify things a little bit or at least give you an idea of what I was talking about, the jack bending. So thanks for watching as always, guys.